Formula One. I'm seeing a major trend right now. It's a huge in the hobby. It's huge in the world. But right now, I think the impact that we're having in the hobby is incredible. We've yeah. set record sales. The Lewis Hamilton Super Fractor went for 900 grand. Crazy. We're starting to see six figure and potentially seven figure right. trading cards in F1. Whereas a few years ago, this was almost non existent. You had a Senna rookie card, a Michael Schumacher rookie card. Right. That was pretty much the only names you might have even known in F1. Mm -hmm. But right now, we're seeing all new product. We're seeing worldwide markets all over the world. We're seeing Saudi Arabia, Australia, United States, Monaco, Italy, Bahrain, yeah, there you go. Bahrain, like all these places. All <laughs> yeah, I mean, places. look, look, I was, I was definitely skeptical at first. I mean, F1's been around since 1950, so you know why now? And you know, you look at the Drive to Survive series on Netflix. It got renewed Huge. for multiple seasons. Huge, yeah. um, like soccer, F1 has that global impact, right? It's glamorous. Like us, these guys are studs, right? People are gravitating towards them. Who doesn't like Ferraris? You know, who doesn't like these big brands? Sure. And then you, know, you think about it, you know, Tops, Tops Chrome. Like, I love it. That's a brand that we call identify with in other sports. Our favorite sports, Tops Chrome, Tops Chrome Refractor. So, you know, I was definitely skeptical at first, but I think when you look at the macro picture that F1 provides, I, you know, I don't think it's a fed. So are you buying F1 cards? Are you buying <laughs> F1? No, no. I buy basketball cards. <laughs> yeah. Good. But, but, but can you, can you but see But look, you I see can the absolutely see, see it. Is, right? I, you know, I, sometimes I feel like I miss the wave. I mean, these prices That's are true. going crazy. Um, you know, and there's guys coming up. I mean, you know, it's not just Lewis Hamilton. A year anymore, ago, right? a year plus, yeah. more than a year ago, I said, hey, Lewis Hamilton's yeah, the guy. Yeah. No, I, I, was, said, I was laughing at you. You called it. I'm not well, gonna... I, what I was looking for, I started to see tennis become popular, right. and you, you can clearly see there's Sampras, there's Federer. You know, there's some huge names that you're like, okay, these are guys, Nadal. You know, these are like the goats. And if you look at basketball, baseball, you're always looking for the best of the best, right. the Tom Brady's. Tiger Woods, right? So I'm like, who's next? Right. And I'm sitting there in my gym, and I'm looking at the TV, and there's an in F1 race. Yeah, it's pumping a little chest. And I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute. It's it's obvious. Lewis Hamilton, this is the guy. He's been the GOAT. He's got everything going for him. He's a young guy. He's a cool guy. People want to be like him. I was like, this is the guy. So I actually went out. This is before, like, the Topps Chromes and everything. And I was trying to find his rookie cards. And actually, Ryan over here stumbled on the Futura 2006. The Futura. $312,000 we ended up right. getting for that card. There was only a population of two. A few more have surfaced. Actually, sure. I've got a call later with a complete set of these I things as well. In, yeah. So, yeah, there, there are people that have these, but we're talking... We own F1 at Golden, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I've, we do. I've definitely noticed that. But yeah. I've, I've noticed, look at the race that in Miami, now they've come to the United States. You see Tom Brady yep. there. Guys are lining up to get pictures. Mm -hmm. Back with, on Brady, Jordan. That was, that was an iconic picture. It yeah, was, you know? it, well, it was cool. Now it's like... And I see, like, Max Versteppen, for example, you know, he's Dutch. You have, like, guys like Armin Van Buren, these big DJs, Martin Garrix. Right. They love Versteppen, you know, so you, the, and those are the big celebrities in those countries. So you're starting to see all these F1 racers, they're representing their country. So if you're in the F1 championship in the Grand Prix, not only are you racing against the other athletes, you're the best guy in your country, pretty much, or one of the few. Point. So now you have a whole country that's pulling Supporting for you. you. Yes. Right, like like cool. the uh, what the Orange Army, that's for a step in, where you have all these Dutch people coming out, and they're waving the flags, they're going nuts, and they're all rallying behind this one guy. So unlike baseball, where you know we're all from the United States, and there's a few guys from different countries, this is a person that's basically representing your country, just like in the Olympics. Right. So you can rally behind them. And as we've seen, some of these countries, like you were saying before, with Bahrain and Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, yeah. you know, there's some big money. Uh, yeah, there's Abu some Dhabi, big money. Abu Dhabi and all those. Uh, all right. Well, right. let's compare it to NASCAR, right? Well, why is NASCAR the biggest, most popular uh, it, sport in the, the U.S.? It's the second most popular sport behind football. But the difference there is look at the markets right. that you're going to find NASCAR in. Versus the worldwide markets. Budweiser, a little it's Alabama, like, you know, a little, a little Bud Light, you know. It's this almost like a Dale Earnhardt. Yeah. But, but the, the, the whole sport is almost like an elitist sport, though. It's like so, seriously, I mean, I hate like to say Like Jai Lai or whatever? Yeah, I mean, it's kind yeah. of like what? No, but no, but look. <laughs> Jai Lai. It's, you know, it's, it's look, <laughs> Dave, what you were just saying, it's, it's obviously, look, it, it's not soccer, but... The, like kind of that national pride, kind of the, the global impact. It, it's a macro sport. That's why, you know, it's an emerging market, but it looks like it's here to stay. I mean, social media, you know, the Netflix. I mean, 
it, it shrinks the world. I mean, we're all in it now, and you know the cards are responding really and the well. And gu- the guys who collect in that hobby, I mean, it's just like the same like any other sport. You're prospecting who's the next big thing. So like you said, you saw Lewis Hamilton before anybody else might have saw that, and now you have Verstappen, and then you have like guys like George Russell, Lando Norris, like all these up and coming yeah. guys. Well, Mick that, Schumacher, Michael Schumacher's son, is right. actually the rookie I mean, this year, so people up, are jumping right. on him. So yeah. it's like you're trying to see who's that next best thing before that happens. Right. So I mean, then you have those teams like Mercedes and Red Bull. That's what everyone's like shooting to be a part of but like who is that next guy that that makes that big you know it's funny schumacher's the goat of goats for this but like i said back then it just that macro global impact was not there right maybe back to the netflix thing right because that that series kind of i think put it on the map um, yeah, I mean, the Nef- Netflix is pretty big, right? Like, Hold in touch, baby. Do, do, do yeah. you know too much yeah. about Netflix? I mean, I Nef- yeah. Netflix is huge. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's pretty big. Yeah, and what I and that'll put you on a worldwide map alone, right yeah. there. But but I think Senna. Do you know anyone on Netflix? I I know you got to be. A star. I got a, I got oh, a couple. Yeah. I got a couple of couple contacts over there. Got yeah. um, Senna was kind of the first. He died in '94 on the track, and he was he was really the big big guy in the sport at the time. He had set every record. Every record until '06 was pretty much owned by him. There really, there was a collectible aspect to him, and even with Golden years ago, but it was autographs, it was memorabilia because he passed away young on right. the track, right? So a signed piece or something, just so rare. We sold autographs of his for thousands of dollars, which just a signed item because Before he passed it was even away. Anything big, exactly. Mm-hmm. So look at his rookie card. It's a 1984 Panini F1 card that was worth Jeez, a couple man. hundred oh, bucks. Oh, yeah. Don't tell the world. Let's grab some. Oh, yeah. Sounds, man. Well, sounds, sounds it's good. been getting more popular. Okay. Recently, PSA 6s and 5s, I mean, they've been exploding five figures on that card. Wow. So there was a few sleepers. We actually set the record for the Schumacher card. It's a 92 right. card See, as now well. Like the... Yeah, and those were mass-produced yeah. a little bit more so, but now those cards might start to gain a little bit more ground. But I think... I think the potential here is unlimited. I think F1, like you said, is here to stay. It's come to the U.S. Once the U.S. audience gets into that, because I think that's something for us. Come on, like, there are people that could talk circles around us in F1. But what we've seen and what we've seen on our site and the super fractors that have been going for six figures. And just just the energy you see on on Instagram, the the collectors, the people. You know, I, I just... Remember, you're right, NASCAR doesn't have that, that global vibe, right? right? And you remember back in the day, they had the press pass cards, Dale Earnhardt, they had like game used memorabilia and stuff in yeah, there. Yeah. It was hot for a minute, but this is it just this just feels different. Right? And I, I mean, also think it has a lot to do too, <clears> like look who's the people going to these events, you know? I mean, these are people who are multi-millionaires, billionaires coming out, and this is what they do in their, their, their right. free time. Like, this is what they the enjoy, right? Yeah. This is just like an event they like to go to. So when you it's have cool. guys with endless pockets, that funnels into the hobby, and this is what happens. You know, markets start changing fast. So the, the million dollar question is the yeah. nine hundred thousand dollar question. When is cricket gonna come up on this? Right, that's, cricket that's has got to be right nice there. Thing. I'm just yeah, saying, if you're, right. th- I'm already thinking way ahead. So I already know who he the must have some cricket high end are. cricket cards. I might, yeah. I might. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'll bring out show and tell one day. Yeah, no, I mean, look, we're, I think everyone's always trying to look for the next emerging market. Um, you know, there's tons of sports out there that are huge around the world that. Maybe just haven't caught on here, but right. clearly when they do, I mean, it's 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 been crazy. So yeah, you know. we've we've seen UFC, right? Uh, WrestleMania, uh, they are making wrestling cards. Yeah. Those things are selling for incredible yeah. amounts of money. Right. So I'm a believer in F1. Yeah. I think it's here to stay. Yeah, I don't know about you guys. I agree. It sounds I like you guys are on board definitely. here too. Yeah. I was skeptical, but like I said, I think given the macro impact of this, like Ryan said, the audience, mm-hmm. blah blah blah, and just you know, dude, but. Tops Chrome crushes those cards. The Tops Dynasty cards, they're nice, man. They're right. good cards. Even the second year cards they're, they're are beautiful. outselling baseball and right. football right. guys and things like that. I mean, the like numbers that. don't lie. I mean, that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's right. At the so. end of the day. So. Well, I think that's, that's it right, right there. Yeah. F1 is here to stay. Check us out every week. We're always here. We're here to stay. We're here, we're to, here stay. to stay as we're well. To stay as Hopefully, well. we add some value to your day. And we'll see you guys next week.